What's going on YouTube? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So, let's go ahead and tell you how I felt about today's game for the Broncos and Eagles. That's how I felt. <laughs> Literally, that's how I fucking felt. <laughs> so, in, in this video, I have a lot to talk about in this video. A lot of stuff I have to get into. So, sit back and enjoy and... Yeah, I have a lot to get off my chest. I have a lot that has to be said. Man, wow. Just wow. <laughs> that That's just an understatement right now. Just saying wow at this fucking point. This team is so pathetically overrated. So pathetically just a trash team. Like, we're not good. I, I'm sick of this team. One week we beat the Cowboys, next week we lose to the Eagles. Inconsistent as hell, man. I'm tired of this team. I'm so tired of Fick Fangio. I'm tired of Teddy Bridgewater. You know, I'm going to get into them guys in a, a few minutes, but I'll, I'll get into them, don't you worry. But I, first off, I want to talk about what the Eagles did today. I mean, that I want to go over what the Eagles did today. Let's go over it. I am just sick to my stomach. You let Jordan Howard and Boston Scott both get over um, 80 yards. And then you let Jalen Hurts run for 53. Jesus Christ. They ran all over the Broncos. Ran right over them. Oh, and Vic Fangio is some defensive mastermind? Yeah, right. You fucking kidding me? <sighs> See, Vic Fangio is overrated, I'm telling you, man. The guy's not a winner. The guy's a loser, in my opinion. He's just not a good coach, man. Maybe he could be a good defensive coordinator elsewhere, but his time in Denver is up, man. His time is up. After the season, he's gone. Simple as that. Simple as fucking that. I mean, oh, my God. Jalen Hurts was looking like Lamar Jackson out there today, running all down our throat. He was even passing on us. He threw two touchdowns to Devontae Smith. Devontae Smith... Was fucking murdering us today, like Jesus Christ. Oh my God, Devontae Smith, man, the guy's a baller. The guy's a beast. Um, let's talk about Teddy Poopwater. Teddy fucking two gloves. Jesus Christ, guys, this guy is not a franchise quarterback. Teddy Bridgewater is not a franchise quarterback. He is a bridge quarterback. He is a damn game manager. He is a damn backup. Come on, he is. It's reality at this point, guys. It is freaking reality. This guy is not a fucking starter. <laughs> 226 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions. <sighs> Man, I'm so tired of the checkdowns. I'm so fucking tired of him checking down the ball. He, I mean, God, man, I just got so pissed off watching the damn game. Like, literally, I was screaming. I was like, getting so pissed off that this guy literally throws freaking two-yard passes. What are you, two-yard check down Teddy, man? What the fuck? I mean, he plays it so safe. Oh, man, oh my god, oh my god. This guy, man. Teddy Bridgewater is not our franchise quarterback. He'll be lucky to even be here next year. I don't think so. I don't think so. The Broncos missed the playoffs, then no. Get rid of him. I don't fucking care. I'm, I'm so tired of this shit. I want a franchise fucking quarterback. I want a guy that's going to be our franchise quarterback for years and years and years, and we cannot find a franchise quarterback. We've had four good years of Peyton Manning, but then he retired, and look what happened. Back to the quarterback carousel. Can't find a freaking quarterback to save our damn lives. And it's going to continue, guys. It's going to continue, and it's going to continue as long as that horse-faced-looking motherfucker, John Elway, is still in the damn building. Some of you say, oh, he's not the GM anymore. I swear, he has some say in this team. I'm telling you. He has some say. I'm telling you, he does. And the same thing for Joe Ellis. They both they will never get the fuck out. They need to leave. Joe Ellis and John Elway need to get the fuck out of the building. And let George Payton be the GM of the team. Because I think George Payton is a good damn GM. He's, he made some good trades. He had a pretty good draft. Look at the draft class he had, man. All of, them, all of them are pretty much contributing and having a good season so far. And it's these John Elway players like Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon. Yeah, let's talk about Melvin Gordon real quick. The guy that we paid $8 million 
the fumble the fucking ball? You fucking kidding me? <laughs> you let Philip Lindsay walk? Let him get rid of Phil Lindsay for Melvin Gordon? You fucking kidding me, man? <laughs> Melvin Gordon. A couple weeks ago, he fumbled the ball against Washington. Almost cost us a damn game. We got lucky to beat the Washington freaking football team. And today, what do you know? Melvin Gordon fumbling the ball. <laughs> no wonder why the Chargers fans and Charger fans were laughing at us that we got rid. We signed Melvin Gordon. No wonder why the Chargers wanted to get rid of Melvin Gordon. Now I finally realize this guy is overrated, overpaid, and he sucks. I'm so tired of Melvin Gordon. He's a free agent after the year, and I hope he leaves. He can kick rocks and get the fuck out of Denver, man. He cost us this game. It's, it's mostly on this guy, Teddy and Melvin Gordon. Teddy Bridgewater and Melvin Gordon. Javante Williams should be getting some more carries than Melvin Gordon. Javante Williams is better. I don't care if anyone fucking says Javante Williams is way better. Javante Williams is my fucking running back. That is my fucking running back. He brings spark to his offense. Because this offense is dead, let's be real. This offense is freaking dead. It is dead. <laughs> Two yard check downs. Two yard check down, Teddy Bridgewater. Terrible. Terrible, 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 terrible. Two yard check down, Teddy. Can never fucking get the ball moving. Oh my god, man. I'm so tired of this team. I'm so tired of freaking can't find a quarterback. I'm so tired of everything. I'm so tired of this coaching staff. <sighs> Teddy Bridgewater. What was that, man? <laughs> if you guys didn't see that, Teddy Bridgewater was trying to tackle Darius Slay after Melvin Gordon fumbled the ball. And Teddy Bridgewater, what the fuck was that? He didn't even try. He just stood there and like fake tried grabbing him. Teddy Bridgewater, what, like, you have no effort, man. You have, you're lazy as hell. Where are you? You're not a real leader of the team. You're not a fucking leader if you can't at least try making a tackle. He did not try to make a tackle. He took a business decision and just let Darius Slay take it all the way back for a damn touchdown. And that's basically what cost us the game. It was basically the nail in the coffin for the game. It was over after that. Momentum just went downhill, and we had no answer after that. It was over. It's like stabbing a fucking knife in your throat. It's over. It is over. It is over. Melvin Gordon and Teddy Bridgewater, man. They're like the one main reasons why we lost this game today. I'm sorry, but they're losers. A lot of, guys, a lot of these players on this team are damn losers. And it all starts, like I said, with John Elway, Joe Ellis. They are fucking losers, too. Vic Fangio's a loser, too. I don't care if Pat Schirmer wasn't there. He is also a loser. Mike Shula. Wow. Wow, the offense looks so much better, didn't it? Mike Shula's here, guys. Mike Shula's in town. He's calling offensive plays. It did not change at all. Offense still sucked. And you know what the common denominator is? Who gets you still on the team? Teddy Bridgewater and Vic Fangio. <laughs> they're, they're, they're holding this team down. And I know some people are calling for to Teddy Bridgewater to get benched, start Drew Locke at this point. You know, nothing to lose, but I hate to break it to you guys. <laughs> Vic Fangio is not going to freaking start Drew Locke. Vic Fangio hates Drew Locke. Teddy Bridgewater and Fangio are like dating almost. Like, they're fucking... Tick Fangio loves Teddy Bridgewater so damn much. So, unless Teddy Bridgewater gets hurt, which I don't I don't wish injury on anybody. I don't want anyone to get injured. I don't wish injury on any players. But if Teddy Bridgewater gets injured, maybe by then, but but if not, Drew Locke's not gonna play this Drew Locke's probably not gonna play another down and not be in the Broncos uniform next year. Cause I guarantee you Drew Locke's done. He he is his career in Denver is done. He's gonna go somewhere else. And we'll see if he succeeds anywhere else. But his time in Denver is done. Drew Locke's done in Denver. And same with Teddy Bridgewater. His time in Denver should be fucking up too. Just like Vic Fangio and a lot of these fucking coaching staff too. We're just losers, man. We're, we're losers. Like, th this franchise must be about winning. Pat Bolin would be ashamed of what's going on right now. He'd be a fucking shamed. Pat Bolin cared about winning. 
But guess what? We ain't winning anymore. We're losers. We're de we're fucking in the basement of the division. Like we can never have anything good. We're not a good team, and we won't be until we get some decent ownership. We need a damn owner. I'm, I'm tired of have, not having a damn owner. The Bowen family are always arguing, oh, 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 I want the ownership, I want the ownership. No, we need, the Bowens need to sell the damn team and give it to an owner that actually fucking cares about winning. I'm tired of this shit. I am sick and tired of this shit. I'm tired of losing this fucking year and year and year and out. This team just constantly loses, 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 loses. Nothing changes. You know, I like Vic Fangio when we hired him. I thought he's pretty good. But it's been three years, Vic, and nothing's changed. Your time in Denver is up. You need to get out, man. And why don't you take your little butt buddy, Teddy Bridgewater, and take your butt buddy, Pat Shermer, with you. Because I am fucking tired of it. I am sick and damn tired of it. I mean, I've had enough. I've just simply have had a fucking enough. We need an owner. Broncos need a real owner. Like I said, we need a real quarterback. We need to get our fucking own franchise quarterback. New new coaching staff for sure. Definitely I prefer offensive-minded um, head coach, but yeah. We're just like, they have lame duck coaching staff right now. George Payton was given lame duck head coaches. Vic Fangio sucks. Pat Shermer sucks. Tom McMahon sucks. <laughs> I don't know how that guy still has a job at this point. Like, does he have, like, pictures of John Elway or fucking... Does he have pictures of um, Vic Fangio or something? Like, how the hell does this guy still have a job? Tom McMahon, year and year and out, Bronco fans have been calling for his job, and nothing changes. He sucks. This special teams, each, each and every week, special teams is giving up a big play. It is horrible. It is horrible. Tom McMahon is fucking horrible, too. God's sakes, clean the fucking house, get the broom out, and get rid of these losers. I want winners in this damn franchise again. I'm sick of having these damn losers. Fucking coward losers that play to lose. Vic Fangio kicking field goals. Like, why not go for it on fourth down? You have nothing to lose, Vic Fangio. You're a damn loser. You're a fucking loser. Oh, there. Uh, 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 uh. Sticking your tongue out like a fucking freak. Yeah, I sell that interview. <laughs> I fucking sell that shit. The guy always licks his lips and he's it's like, Vic Fangio, are you, are you even focused on football, man? Like, I was trying to question this guy's, like, loyalty to, like, football. He said he's been in the league for over 30 years, but he looks like a fucking Bendejo out there. He looks like a fucking 50-year-old one virgin out there getting out coached. Each and week, he got out coached by an interim head coach. He lost to a first-year coach today, Nick Sonorani. An Eagle fan saying he's not even a good coach. <laughs> I think Fangio's always getting out coached. The guy's a lame duck. The guy's a loser. And he needs to get the fuck out of Denver. Now. Thank God the bye week's coming up. That's all I gotta say. Thank goodness. Thank you. The bye week is coming up. Next Sunday, I can actually enjoy watching football without watching my damn team fucking disappoint me every week. Inconsistent. Average, below average, whatever you want to say. It is a terrible run for a football team. Terrible coach team. Man, we need new quarterback, man. We need a new quarterback. Need new coaching staff. Need an owner. Jesus Christ, we need a lot. We need a lot. I'm just... I, I can't defend this anymore, guys. I can't fucking defend it. I cannot defend it anymore. We're frauds. Let's be real. We're not fucking legit. We're not playoff contenders. We are pretenders. <sighs> Before I end the video, I, I, I have one more thing I, can, I gotta talk about is um, this certain individual that likes to curse his, his own team. Yeah, you know who I'm fucking talking about. You know who exactly who I'm fucking talking about. Mile high six. Yeah. Talking to you, buddy.
had to curse this fucking team today, really? Yeah. So, if you guys didn't know, this guy literally hopes us to lose every week, it seems like. The guy always changes his mind. The guy, I don't know. This guy's weird. Mile High's a weirdo. Let's be real. He's a guy's a fucking weirdo. He hates on his own players on his team. He hates Justin Simmons. He hates Teddy Bridgewater. He hates Jerry Judy. The list goes on and on, frankly. The guy hates half the fucking team. And he keeps jinxing he jinxes us. He keeps saying, oh, Eagles are going to win. And look what happened. We lost. Eagles won. Because he had to run his mouth and jinx us. Like I, said, like I said in the previous video, he picked the Broncos in his video. He did. And then, oh, Saturday night, oh, the Eagles are going to win, guys. The Eagles are going to win. I feel like the Eagles are going to win. Like, who does that? Don't even, why, what's the point of even previewing the damn game if you're just going to continue to change your damn pick? Just, hmm. And he even admitted to guys like the sports critic, Preacher Man Sports, he's mentioned these guys that his second favorite team is the Eagles. <laughs> wow, this guy's this guy's crazy. He's embarrassing Broncos country, if you ask me. And I don't plan on working with the guy anymore. I don't fucking plan on it. He used to be cool, but I don't know what the hell his problem is. Like, I don't know who he, he thinks he's fucking cool or something. Like, you're not fucking cool, Mile High. You're not fucking cool one bit. Me, me and Preacher Man are fucking disappointed that what you've done. Fucking jinx the Broncos to lose. Yeah, I believe in jinxes because I, I think they are real. I think jinxes are real. Trust me. Before, I jinx, I jinx some teams too. But this guy jinxed his own fucking team. I'm just disappointed in Mile High Six. I thought he was, a, I thought he was a cool guy, but I don't know what his deal. He thinks he's fucking cool or something, like I said. But you're not fucking cool, Mile High. You're showing off or something. You're not fucking cool one bit. So don't think you're all <laughs> so fucking funny, right? No, it ain't funny. <sighs> but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This this is a longer video than I expected, but I had to get off a lot off my chest. I had to tell the truth. That's what I do, guys. I am fucking. I tell the truth about everything. I speak the facts. I speak the reality about this team. And the reality is, this team is awful. This team sucks. I don't want to hear all oh, the Broncos are still in the hunt. They're still in the wild card picture. Still in the division race. Come on, let's be real. You trust Vic Fangio. You trust Teddy Bridgewater. You trust Pat Shermer. You trust Tommy McMahon. You trust these little lame duck coaching staff. You trust this below average fucking quarterback, Teddy Bridgewater. Seriously, you trust that going on? No. You trust that? If, you, if you're if you so optimistic trusting that, <laughs> you're way too optimistic. Because we should have won today. The Eagles are not even a good, that good of a team, in my opinion. They're not that good. Jalen Hurts is not that good. And you made him look like the damn Lamar Jackson. If you think about it, Broncos have lost to some shitty teams. Like, we should have beat the Browns. Case Keenan was starting. And then, like today, losing to the fucking Eagles. To a team that's, what, 4-6 and six now? Like, come on. Come on. Come on. So, yeah, guys, make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Drop a comment down below. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. This has been my longest video on my channel, I believe. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you, have a, I hope you guys have a good night. Stay safe, obviously. Go Broncos, but it's hard to be optimistic right now, guys. It's hard to be optimistic. But I'll try to be optimistic as possible, but it just I'm disappointed. I'm pissed off. I'm sad. I'm depressed. Everything like that. I am just sick. and I'm sick to my stomach right now. I am just had enough of the team right now. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next video. And Mile High, please do not curse this team anymore. Do not fucking curse the team anymore. And just because I'm saying this right now don't mean I'm cool with you. I'm still fucking pissed off at you. You shouldn't have said, you shouldn't, don't, don't talk about the games anymore. That's what I told you to do. Don't talk about the games anymore, please. 
Just shut your mouth about the games. That's all I ask for you to do. Is shut your damn mouth about the games. But thank God we have a bye week next week. So I'll see you guys later, guys. And peace out. Go Broncos. And peace out.